Welcome to the iClarify tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G using Pawnage Tool for Mac. Let's begin. Download Pawnage Tool 3.0 and the iPhone 3.0 firmware from the links in the text version of this tutorial. Once the files are done downloading, create a new folder on your desktop called Pawnage. Drag the two files into the Pawnage folder, then double click to open it. Double click the Pawnage Tool 3.0 DMG to mount the archive. Then drag the application into the Pawnage folder. Double click to launch Pawnage Tool. If you are warned that this application has been downloaded from the internet, click the open button. Click OK to bypass the warning. Then select Expert Mode from the toolbar. Next, select the iPhone 3G and click the blue arrow button. Pawnage Tool will now search your hard drive for the latest firmware. Once the firmware has been found, click to select it then click the blue arrow button. Select General from the menu and click the blue arrow button to continue. If you are on an official carrier, you will want to uncheck the Activate the Phone checkbox. You can also use this window to set your root partition size. Click the blue arrow button to continue. There are no boot neuter settings for the 3G iPhone. Click the blue arrow button to continue. From the Cydia settings, we can download packages to include in our custom IPSW. Click the Download Packages tab, then click the Refresh button. From the list of packages, double click the package you would like to include. Once it has downloaded, you will be able to select it under the Select Packages tab. Once you have selected all the packages you would like to include, click the blue arrow button. From the Custom Packages settings, we can select the two different types of installers. Leave both selected and click the blue arrow button. From the Custom Logo Settings window, we can select the logos to display on boot and in recovery mode. To select your own logos, click the Browse button and navigate to a compatible file. The iClarify boot logos can be found in the text version of this tutorial. When done, click the blue arrow button to continue. Now let's build our custom IPSW. Click the build button then click the blue arrow button to continue. You will be asked to save the custom IPSW file to a location on your hard drive. Select the Pawnage folder we created on the desktop then click the save button. This process will take approximately 10 minutes but we'll fast forward it for you. A pop-up window will appear asking you to enter your administrative username and password. Do this, then click the OK button to continue. Once your custom firmware has been built, you will be asked if your iPhone 3G has been pawned before. If you are unsure, 
Connect your iPhone to the computer and click No. You will now be asked to turn off the device. You will then need to prepare to press the power and home buttons at the same time. Press and hold both buttons down for 10 seconds. Then release the power button and keep holding down the home button for another 10 seconds. This will put your iPhone into DFU mode. A pop-up will appear confirming you've entered DFU mode. iTunes will recognize an iPhone in recovery mode. Click OK to close the pop-up. Then hold down the Option key and click the Restore button. Navigate to the Pondage folder we created on the desktop and select the Custom Restore Firmware that Pondage Tool created for us. Then click the Open button. iTunes will now extract the firmware and install it onto our iPhone. This could take up to 10 minutes. iTunes will inform you that your iPhone has been restored successfully and is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. Once it reboots, you may be informed that there is an update to the carrier settings. Click Download and Update. When informed that the update was successful, click the OK button. We can now set up our iPhone. You can choose a name for the device and choose the sync options. Click the Done button to complete the iTunes setup. And that's it. You successfully jailbroken your iPhone 3G using Pondage Tool for Mac.